Horrible things covert narcissists often do to get inside your mind. Covert narcissists are experts at disguising their condition. Covert narcissism is more difficult to recognize than overt narcissism, but it is just as damaging. Those who are narcissists but try to act normal are simple to recognize. They are the ones who strive to impress others with egotistical statements. In some cases, this kind of action is interpreted as proof that the individual in the issue is heartless and unfeeling. Do we live with folks who are masters of fitting in, but who have inflated egos and a desire for attention? Yes, it's possible that someone you're close to, such as a friend or family member, is a narcissist despite their outward appearance. I'm glad you could all return for another episode, so let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about the more cryptic indicators of narcissism in this video. Although many people will share similar views, the key is anticipating when the narcissist will express them. Timing of words and actions is crucial when communicating with covert narcissists. And the reason for it is that covert narcissist only cares about themselves. Getting you to give in to their schemes is their primary focus. The fake narrative they have been propagating about who they are and what they stand for has all the hallmarks of the marketing campaign, com artist or pretender. Narcissists are great at promoting themselves because they see their entire life as an act. The brand they've created has to be promoted. This act makes it more probable that people will submit comments that add little value. They may seem completely forthright with one another at first glance. Remember, though, that the covert narcissist only follows the established playbook for baiting and entrapping you. If they make these claims, they assume you will accept them at face value. They try to make others think they can be trusted. Someone who insists often and emphatically that they are truthful or that they never lie should raise red flags. Those who actually intend it won't bother saying it. That should go without saying. If you've accused a covert narcissist of misconduct, they might reveal such details voluntarily to forgive themselves or make you feel bad about yourself. Do you trust me enough to put yourself in my care? In the company of a narcissist, you can expect to hear phrases like these thrown around as if you've known the person forever. They think that sharing their excitement will give them more credibility. When a narcissist gains your trust, they will try to push you to your boundaries, disseminate lies about you, and take advantage of your good nature. It is necessary for the narcissist's viewpoint that everything must be done at their convenience. They develop a pathological fixation on the victim and expect you to share it. Thus, the love bombing strategy has been implemented where the victim is showered with affection from all directions. Covert narcissists often joke about being able to make their victims love them. They use boasting about themselves as a primary weapon for this purpose. They promote themselves as having superior abilities in all respects. They promise each other eternal love, loyalty and devotion. They're incredibly arrogant and full of themselves. Statements they know will be positively welcomed. Because of this, narcissists have a lot of luck with different kinds of online dating. They help make a solid presence on the web. Using the right keywords is an effort to come off as the perfect, loving spouse you've been hoping to find. Narcissists, both online and in person, give convincing performances to convince others that they are who they claim to be. You should be wary of someone who is always saying things like, trust me, I don't tell lies, I am genuinely kind, I give to charity and so on. Be wary of them, as the content they supply serves only as a means of self-promotion. Rather than just talking about such a concept, a reasonable individual would want to show it works. This video should make it abundantly evident that narcissists, even during the love bombing phase, are skilled liars. This indicates that the newlyweds should not rely solely on words to express their feelings for one another throughout the honeymoon period. However, narcissists spend most of their time playing word games. Although we should not give any credence to what a narcissist states, we may stop trusting our intuition if they make us feel good by stimulating our senses. That's why it's important to follow our instincts and not second-guess ourselves. Someone who seems lovely even when warning you should be avoided. This is due, in large part, to the fact that they are so immensely annoying without coming across as fake. There is no need to dwell on their insignificance any further than necessary. To gain someone's trust, 
you must consistently demonstrate your reliability. You should put only a little stock in someone's claim that they can be trusted if it's your first meeting. Narcissists, who are also skilled writers, may use their blogs to manipulate readers into doing their bidding. Few people understand how dangerous it can be to spend time in a narcissist's company. But keep in mind that this is normally how they succeed. They will tell you anything that will help them look good in your eyes. To date, we saw that many of the positive traits they asserted they possessed or temporarily displayed were not sincere. There's a common perception that narcissists are dishonest, insensitive and unreliable. However, this is what we're told to believe. By making these claims, they hope to convince us to trust them. A person who is extremely eager to market themselves is often trying to convince you of a fantastic idea. To rephrase, tread carefully. That's it for today's video. Feel free to share a story in the comments about a time when a narcissist managed to convince you of their importance to you. Please consider forwarding this video to your friends and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I truly hope you found the video enlightening. We value your attention and the time greatly that you spent watching this. Thanks.